What's up everyone, today I'm going to be showing you six different ways to rig a Ned Rig. I'm going to be using Z-Man baits and jig heads. Now Z-Man baits, if you don't know, are elastic and very buoyant in the water. And they float on top, they will not sink unless you have a jig head or something to weigh them down to get them down at the bottom or the water column. So, let's jump into our first one. Okay, number one, we are going to be using the Turbo Crawl Z on a shaky head. Insert the hook into the top of the tail with the bait facing away from the jig head. Now once you get it through there, you'll push the bait up towards the jig head. Now with the elastic, it's very hard to push this up here, but if you give it a good squeeze, it'll get up there. Now it's best to put a drop of glue or crazy glue up there, a very, 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 very small drop. So that way it will stick up there. For this demonstration, I did not do it because I was not going to be using them that day. So just like a Texas rig, you'll squinch the bait up and you'll actually put, put it on there, give it a little slack, as you can see, and pretty much just like a Texas rig. Let's see what this thing looks like in the water. Lots of action there very buoyant stays up goes back up throws those claws up okay on to the next one number two finesse TRD with a finesse bullet Z same as the turbo crawl Z but you're going to slide it up slowly past the weight on the bottom. Now your worm's not going to tear because of the elastic. Uh, very durable. If you use other worms and try to do this, they'll just break apart pretty much. So once you get up there, you twist and turn it to where the top of the bait is facing up. And just like the Texas rig, you squinch it up and get the worm in there. This takes a little practice. And actually in here, I didn't do it that great, but it was worth a shot. All right, now in the water. Now, a little trick I'll tell you that is not in the video. If you stretch this out, if you stretch the bait out really, really far, and believe me, they won't break. You, you, I mean, you can go really, really far and keep doing that a few times. It'll actually get a little longer, but it makes it more buoyant and, and moves around as it's sitting at the bottom and the water's kind of moving around. It's lots of action if you do that. All right, moving on. All right, number three, TRD. All right, the real deal. Crawl Z with a Shroom Z Micro Finesse Jig. I love this thing. All right, it's weedless. Got the little weedless hooked on there, or the weedless guard. It's got a little worm keeper there. Now, it's a little hard to show this, how I rigged this, because of the skirt around this thing but basically what you do is you at the top of the bait the you want the bait facing you or the top of the bait facing the jig head which in this case would be the eyes of the craw, crawfish all right so it's going to be facing the, the jig head keep the hook in the center of the bait once the end of the bait is lined up where this it started but on the opposite side bring the hook through Now, look at this thing in action. Isn't this just sweet? I love how it comes down and just slowly everything drops and it stays up. The claws move around a little bit. Tons of action right there. All right, moving on to number four. Another finesse TRD, but with a Ned Lock Z HD jig head. Setting this up is just like the TRD Crawl Z, but maybe you can actually see a little bit better on this one. 
See I'm slowly taking it up, trying to keep the bait facing the right way. Once I get it through, I pop that hook right through. Now, another hard part getting this up there because of the elastic and keeping that worm up there by the head. Again, with the crazy glue, small little drop, put it there, and believe me, it'll work wonders. This is another one of my favorites right here. Make a bass go crazy. Moving on with number five, the TRD Tickler Z with the Shroom Z Weedless Jig Head. Rigging this up is just like the last two, but just be sure to spread the two wires apart for the weedless part. You spread them apart just a little bit. I find this helps a lot. Look at that. Look at those tails. Those things are nice underwater. Just like the other ones, but just a little bit of tickle. Alright, moving on to the last one, number six, Big TRD with the Nico Shroom Z Wacky Rig. Okay, with this one, I did not have the Nico Shroom Z, so I improvised. I used the Shroom Z Weedless Jig Head, but I cut the hook off and also the weed guard. Now, you only need the head for the weight. Now, just like it's shown, you insert, you would do the same thing as the Nico rig. You would slide it in. Of course, it's hard because of that last tech. So once you push in there far enough, see how it's staying? It's staying. Now you want to get some super glue and put it on there. Then I take a wacky rig weedless hook and go straight through the worm. Don't worry about putting a rubber band because again, these worms are very, very durable and they will take a beating. And it's even hard just to get it through the worm. All right, let's see what this guy looks like. Now, it doesn't fall exactly like a traditional wacky rig, but the action on this is pretty awesome. Keeping it down below and popping it every once in a while. Tons of action here. All right, guys, that is all six baits. Tell me down below in the comments which one was your favorite. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Do me a favor. Go watch some more of my content. If you like it, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, guys, stay hooked. <laughs>